hard seltzer. The summer drink of the pandemic really seems to be fizzling out. But as Sean Chitness is about to show you, there is something new on tap. Apple pay anything else? Uh, no, that's good. Eddie Muchamel manages Village Market and Liquors in Los Angeles and says business boomed in 2020. During the pandemic, everything was selling like crazy. With bars and restaurants closed, Americans drank more at home, and sales of hard seltzer skyrocketed, even when people started socializing again. Like if I go to a party, it's usually Trulies and White Claws and then maybe some beers, but those are definitely the dominant drink of choice. In the past couple of years, dozens of new hard seltzer brands have popped up. But after a huge rise, sales are now starting to fizzle, down 10% this year. There's always a um, product life cycle. John Berg with Nielsen IQ says while seltzers remain very popular, another drink is taking up space at stores. Those shoppers that had been uh, trying hard seltzers are now trying the uh, cocktails. Canned cocktails contain spirits like vodka or whiskey, where hard seltzers are malt-based like beer. Sales for the ready-to-drink products are taking off, up 55% this year. We were really ready for this canned cocktail moment. Sam Calagione is the founder of Dogfish Head Brewery, which started as a beer company but has extended into canned cocktails. Dogfish is owned by Boston Beer. The company known for Sam Adams also makes the popular Truly Hard Seltzer, and now Truly is branching out. We've already announced that we're going to come out with a line of Truly Vodka Seltzers, so kind of playing in this interesting white space between what was a traditional seltzer and sort of a vodka soda uh, cocktail. Canned cocktails are making buzz, but analysts say trends can shift as tastes change. Sean Chitness, KPIX 5.